I've written a poem called Super Crip Girl and I actually read it in front of like all those women. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> Do you have the mm. poem? Yeah, yeah, I know the poem. I want to hear it. Oh, okay. Super Curb Girl flies through the air, lifting up cars that block curb cuts, dropping them into lots marked stupid A, Bs. Super Curb Girl tries riding the buses with her disabled lover. The driver barks, your friend cannot ride with you. There's only room for one of your kind. Super Crip Girl blocks the rush hour bus lines with 400 of her Crip friends. The city comes to a halt. The city gets the clue. Conditions for Crip transportation improve. Super Crip Girl transforms AB minds in her bare hands, prying open steel trap attitudes. Super Crip Girl whisks them away to Crip land for the day. There they try to ride inaccessible buses all day. There they get to be a Crip, get to pick the disability they're most scared of, get to feel what that might be like, maybe even get to understand. Super Crip Girl gets tired sometimes, has too much work to do, and knows that without the help of her friends, she ain't ever gonna get done. Nice. <laughs> that was great. Written in Jack in the Box, across from, I think I was headed over to the White Horse Bar after, I don't know, I wrote it years ago, <laughs> back in 1986, but I wrote it in Jack in the Box. They were even Jack in the Box writing Super Crip Girl. <laughs> I'm redeemed.